Artifice Girl is written and directed by Franklin Rich, and it also stars him and was edited by him. It recently premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival as well as Fantasia, where it was nominated for and won some awards. The film is about a team of special agents who discover a revolutionary new computer program to bait and trap online predators. After teaming up with the program's troubled developer, they soon find that the AI is rapidly advancing beyond its original purpose. Full disclosure right off the bat, I know the producers of this movie, they produced my film, Shelby Oaks, but they have never asked me to make a video on any of their films. I'm making this video because I want to. Artifice Girl is a largely dialogue-driven science fiction mystery thriller. It contains three sequences in which people have very important conversations. If films that revolve exclusively around dialogue are not your thing, then you're probably not going to enjoy Artifice Girl. But I love films like this. When they're great, they're fantastic. Some of my favorite films of all time are nothing but people talking, 12 Angry Men being one of them. My favorite film of 2021 was Mass. A film like Carnage also pulled it off. I'm just going to stop being around the bush. I love this movie. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I saw someone who has a vision for film and a passion for filmmaking just willing a movie into existence, doing everything in his power to make sure this movie gets on the screen. I know a few things about the film behind the scenes because I know the producers, and I'm so very aware of how hard it was to get this movie made. I think Artifice Girl is one of the best films about artificial intelligence ever made. After I saw this movie, I was reminded of how I felt in 2005 when I rented Primer from Blockbuster. The movie was shot for like $7,000 or something, I don't know, something like that. And it was so, so low budget, and I had never seen a film like that at that point in my life. I watched all the big movies that came out that I was allowed to see, but I had yet to discover independent cinema. Primer was one of the first times I was exposed to a film like that, and I remember being really blown away by it. And I think that The Artifice Girl will do that for some young people as well who've never seen a film like this before, because it does feel very much so like somebody made this movie in their backyard, and I mean that in the best way. I truly do mean that in the best way. It's extremely well put together. Franklin Rich is also a very good actor. He wears a lot of hats in this film, and he wears all of them very confidently. We live in a time where AI is doing things that we never really thought of before. When I was a kid, AI was generally viewed as something like the Terminator. We were afraid that robots would take over the world. Actual, like, physical robots would, you know, kill us. When it comes to AI now, it's a little scarier, especially for creatives, because it's so easy to generate stories or ideas. And there's so many new implications to what AI can do that we've never really seen explored in a film before. This film does. It has such a clever hook, and I won't get into it, of what AI could do to help us, but also what it could do to harm us at the same time. But it's also more hopeful than most AI-driven films. It's not as doom and gloom about the whole thing. It recognizes the fears, but it also finds a way to logically embrace the strengths of what AI could do for us if used properly. But as you know, whenever we invent new tools, we tend to find ways to abuse them. And this film dives into ways that AI could be exploited for our benefit, but also how AI could be just plain old exploited. Like what if it developed a conscience and needed to consent to certain things that we've never considered asking AI if we have its consent to do something? What if we had to? All of this is presented over the course of three very intriguing conversations. And Rich does a masterful job of editing these conversations together, making sure that the shots are always engaging. You don't land on something for too long. You're never bored by watching too much of the same coverage. There's always a lot of things to look at. But people talk over each other and argue, and their dialogue overlaps like it does in real life. It doesn't feel staged. I won't get into too much else about the Artifice Girls plot, because I really would love if you guys would just go support this movie. Go pay for it, like rent it, you know? Don't torrent it. This is not the film to torrent. Support artists who make films like this. So I would strongly recommend watching it. I think it's really, really good. Um, and I genuinely believe that Franklin Rich is going to have an incredible future. I am almost like certain. So please go see the film and be one of the first to see a next great filmmaker. 
and their first movie. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.